Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us tonight. We are here with some ladies of Lake. Uh, and I'm sorry, we already have had some glitches and corruption going on uh, with the code here. Uh, and, you know, had to deal with some technical difficulties, but we are all good now. So long as nobody in chat goes, hey, we can't hear you. So let's do a quick sound off. Make sure everybody's <laughs> mics are working. Everybody's in case. Stuff is good to go. Um, so, hey guys, I'm Ali Capone. I'm going to be your GM for the evening. Um, I am normally hanging out here on Ladies of D&D, um, but you can also find me on Eric Frankhouse Presents in North Foundry. And I'm excited to share lasers and liches with all y'all. Uh, let's see. I can't see what like our stream. Oh, ooh, transition. Super laggy, sorry. Uh, so let's start up at the top there with Megan. Hi, hi everybody. I am Megan Caves and I am playing Zella and I'm very excited to play Zella. <laughs> and uh, you can find me at Megan Caves, uh, C-A-V-E-S for the last name. Um, and at Gone Rogue Entertainment, which is my, um, my production company, whatever you want to call it. And I've got lots of stuff over there. So, um, yeah, and other things. I don't know. That's me. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy that you're here. We're happy that all y'all are here. Um, me too. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we can throw it over to Vanessa. I'm just looking at oh, the screen and <clears throat> going on through. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Vanessa. Um, and I will be playing Abby, the drummer of the this uh wonderful band um and you can find me here all, all the time doing you know stupid shit. <laughs> that's that's me <laughs> that's <it. laughs> awesome and our uh our already nbp uh tm copyright for the evening kylie <laughs> who has <laughs> saved the day and is our stream master for the night let's throw it over to you Hi, my name is Kylie Eberhardt. You can find me on the internet anywhere at Viking Mermaid, and I will be playing Cherry Delight. Awesome, awesome. And I'm throwing in the chat commands in chat for y'all too. So you can, nice. can take a look at those follows. Awesome. And hi, Diana, how are you doing? <laughs> hi, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> oh, that means me talk now. <laughs> I am <laughs> Diana Restrepo, and you can find me on the socials at Diana Res3, and I will be playing Roxy Foxy, the keyboardist prodigy. And last but not least, this, uh, this girl band's gotta have a manager. Mallory, so, how how you feeling? I'm great. I mean, someone's got to wrangle everybody. Uh, so hi, I'm Mallory Mize, and if you want to find me literally anywhere on the internet, you can find me at Moxie Blue, M O X X I E B L U E. Um, when I'm not here, I'm at Homebrews and Homebodies or Band of Badgers. And tonight, I play Henley, and I get to boss everybody around. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. That's what I hear. Awesome. Cool. So um, before we uh, jump on into the game, real quick rundown. Like I said, this is going to be using the lasers and liches system. You can uh, pick up a copy if you like it uh, from Drive Through RPG. Um, it is uh, additional rule sets for uh, Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. So if you're a 5e player, fear not. There's a way to just uh, add a little extra uh, extra lasers and and a little bit of like 80s cheesy goodness on there um highly recommend so we are also going to be using stream loot cards tonight if you guys haven't seen stream loot cards in action before um they can kind of uh get you in on the action you can follow that link in chat that i'm going to drop in as soon as i uh, am done talking i can't multitask and uh, you'll be able to do things like uh, you can cast Guidance on a player, you can um, up their Bardic Inspiration dice. Uh, with a Legendary card, you can even level them up, or uh, you can make it so that their hit points can't drop below one hit point for three whole rounds. That is the Invincible card. 
So definitely hop on over, get those, and we can start tallying, uh, tallying those cards up. Um, with that, we can uh, we can roll credits and All right. get right into the action. Okay. So the year of 1989, and the girl band Lake has been topping the charts. However, on their way to a sold-out show in New L.A., a portal opens, transporting the band to a high fantasy realm. Now guitarist Zella, guitarist Roxy Foxy, drummer Abby, bassist Cherry Delight, and their manager Henley are trapped in a land plagued by mysterious beasts. Their mission? To just get home. And maybe save the realm of Arthurian along the way. I really like these things. They're, it's half ro- oh, are we back? No. Nope. Yes, we're it's back. I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> All just good. got back. Well, okay, so well, if, you well, wondering, if you go to uh, Trader Joe's or Total Wine, they have uh, beverages that are 50% rosé, dry rosé, 50% Ooh. seltzer. So Ooh. if you're like, I want to be hydrated and not drink 14%, but I still want a little summery spritz, uh, you can get that. Anyway, awesome. <laughs> not sponsored by uh, the unnamed product that we're talking about here. Sweet. So let's jump on in. The year, as you guys have just learned from that beautiful intro, is in the distant year of 1989. And uh, we're going to kick things off on the ladies or on the lake <laughs> tour bus uh, on the way to New LA for a show, sold out stadium show. Uh, we have our uh, five heroines uh, hanging out here. Who's driving? Me. It's my bus. <laughs> Awesome. So, uh, Roxy, how's the drive going so far? What What are you Should up to? Roll over for there? it. Oh, <laughs> um, it's smooth. I've got some. We've got music playing. There's a little disco ball in the middle of the the bus. We've got some black yeah. lights. I mean, like, and it's like pretty. It's like really pretty. It's like decked out in like pearls and like you know those fake like diamonds like dripping everywhere. Like I've made it really gaudy and pretty. So I like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, that's a balancing act for sure. But you know mm -hmm. what? My Roxy can make that happen. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So is anybody like up in the driver's seat or is everybody else hanging out around the tour bus right now? Cherry mm -hmm. is probably just kind of off in the corner, reading a book, just kind of in her own little what world. What, what book is she reading right now? Uh, she's probably rereading the book that she recently put out to make sure that it reads the way she wanted it to because, you know, she only rewrote it six or seven times uh, to see if it meets her standards and she's probably still finding fault with it. I know that feeling. I know that feeling entirely too well. Okay, <laughs> relatable. Relatable. Is anybody else... Um like reading back there or are are the uh, the rest of y'all doing your own thing um i zella uh she is up with um roxy because roxy cannot go anywhere else and so zella is able to just talk to roxy <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> and she won't leave and so, yeah, Zella's just sitting there, and she does this all the time. Everyone's totally used to this. But she's just like, yeah. And, like, you know, whenever you really think about it, mm -hmm. like, what even is reality? You know? Oh, right. Like, like, totally. Yeah. 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 It, I know. It's everything around us, Zella. But, but like, what does that even mean? Right? Uh, roll of perception. The two of you, roll of perception. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I've got to shift my brain to D&D &D and find where my perception exists. Where are you on this character sheet? <laughs> Sorry. Um, you have to roll IRL right, and then you actually switch. roll for your character. I, I do yeah. have to roll IRL. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. Where I is it on my brain too. It's on the bottom. There it is. Oh, it's on the bottom? See it? No, sorry, under saving throws, on the bottom of saving throws. Right? Saving throw. Let's see. If you, yeah, were your proficiency bonuses down? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. New, new character sheet, who this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who who I this? see, I see. 
Uh, okay, I got a 12. She's distracted by reality. <laughs> okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, so you got a 12, and uh, Roxy, what did you get there? Oh, I did not sorry. Um, 18 plus two, 20, dirty 20. Oh, okay, awesome. So, Zella, you're looking off. You're, you're looking over at Roxy for a second, and you think that you see something in your peripherals, but when you mm. turn, there's nothing there. Meanwhile, Roxy, what you have just seen, you have your eyes glued to the road. You are incredibly, like... <laughs> so sorry. Sorry, Henry's angry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, our chat just flagged the term little D and D. <laughs> and... That broke me. Uh, <laughs> similar to the way that uh, seeing the car catty corner to you in the other lane flicker and disappear off the street is uh, breaking you, or at least your concentration right now. Um, you've seen just this uh, this wood paneled like Volkswagen. I mean, bolts Volkswagen. There we go. Uh, that you could have sworn was going at a consistent speed as you just kind of flicker and it vanishes from the road in front of you. Um, I have to approve that term every time. I'm so sorry. Uh <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's so funny. Um, uh, so, so that's what Roxy just saw. And then I just saw sort of like a glimpse out of the corner of my eye of something. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. So it, um, it's one of the things like you see a shadow move in your peripherals, but when you turn, Nothing's abnormal. Uh, she she turns to Roxy and goes, hmm. "Whoa! I think I just saw a ghost." No, no, no! I just totally saw like a car. We need to pull over. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe they're like, in, maybe they're like need some help, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's like see if they need any help. Yeah, that's a good hey, plan. Hey, girls! I'm gonna pull over. Okay. All right. With this, Abby, what's your reaction? So Abby's probably been like in her bunk, just like drumming on her leg to the music and not really paying that much attention. And as she goes to stop the bus, she's gonna like, you know, take the curtain and like smash it back and be like, why? Other people who need help. We just, so? we just, <laughs> yeah, we thought we would stop and like help them. Yeah, because people are in need. Come on, girls, get it together. Are we ready? Yeah. You know what? Uh, I'm in need. I'm in need of a shower and some food. And like, can we just get fine? Okay. I agree people with come Abby. first. I agree with Abby. I'm people. You're right. Oh no. And then she just kind of like <laughs> stops. The existential crisis has started. <laughs> Short circuit. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, Henley, so it, it seems to be two to two. Stop and help these people <sighs> or get to the place. Henley, what is your reaction to this entire thing? Because I feel like this is not an out of the norm experience. No, for not you. at all. These two all the time want to stop and help everybody. <laughs> Terry and Abby behave. And then Stella and Roxy do not. Uh, because they think I, like, I love them, but they just want to help everybody. And while that's very sweet, I have a schedule to keep you on. And we have to get to the next venue. And time is money and all that. Uh, so I, and literally this entire time, I've been going through paperwork for the next venue. Like the scheduling and everything the girls needed and all of that. Um, so when they do stop the bus, I look at the two of them and go, 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes. And then we get back to the bus, and then we go. Ten okay. minutes. Mom. Okay. Okay. I figured okay. it out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. You take a shower during this ten minutes, and we'll help them. Everybody wins. I'm not letting you go anywhere by yourselves. She's gonna no. like pop Absolutely. down and put her drumsticks in her back pocket. I'm like, all right, let's go find this color. At the very least, okay. Abby goes with you. That's the rule. I make sure to take the keys out of the bus so no one can try and drive it. So we make sure these people are okay, okay and I put them in my pocket. Do I have to All go right, too? and huh? Do I have to go too? Yeah, yes, of course. You have to go too. I'll, I'll even follow behind you this time. I won't even stay on the bus. Ten minutes. That's it. That's all we're doing. We would and, love um... for you to come. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
as the bus pulls over to the side of the road, uh, gear shift into park, uh, Henley, your pager starts going off uh, and your <laughs> cell phone that is connected to your pager because it's yep. the future. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> into buzz General. and ring a, a little jingle. Do you answer? Yeah. Okay. Have to, it's probably my boss. Uh. Henley, NLA just called and they said that you're still not there. Like, what's the deal? What's the hold up? Oh, thank God, Judy. I thought you were Connie. No, uh, yeah, the girls are late. I don't. Roxy and Zella found somebody on the side of the road again, and it's like the seventh time it's happened this tour. But I can't. You know, you know how they are. I can't get them to stop. Oh, God. Listen, sweetie, I, I know that that's important and it's like a little bit difficult to wrangle like a whole cat, a catamaran of, of do-gooders or whatever, but like you need to get there. This is this is really, really bad PR. And I know that they say that like any publicity is good, but like, look, if your job's on the line, then my job's on the line for sticking my neck out for you. So like, we need you to get a little bit of a hustle. I know, I gave them 10 minutes. I said 10 minutes, they get 10 minutes. Mm. And Those then 10 get minutes. back on the bus, and we keep going. Those 10 minutes add up. I'm I just know. gonna stay. I know, I know, I know. Do you, okay. you remember well, when I was supposed to be a receptionist too? Do you remember that? Do you remember when life was easy? Yeah, it was interesting how things took a little bit of a turn. But anyways, look, I've got to go before Mr. Kowski gets back. So yeah. give me a call if you need anything. I'm here for you. Love you. Okay. Mwah. Bye -bye. Love you. Mwah. Bye. Uh, so quick question. Who is still on the bus? Oh, I'm definitely not. <laughs> no, I'm neither. probably still on the stairs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I said I'd be the last one out, so I'm making sure everybody's out before me, because if we have to do this, then we're calling it team bonding and we're... <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, can everybody please make a quick uh, wisdom save for me? Uh -oh. <laughs> Wait, can I? Oh, I can. Look at that. Okay. No, I can't. Ooh, 21. 17. Okay, okay. 11. Yeah, okay. Uh, 11. Yes, 11. 21. 11. Okay. All I right, all right. So, you brought, oh, no! Okay. <laughs> well, there you have it. Um, so, Zella, as you're getting ready, ready to uh, step off the bus, you're hit with, like, a bit of vertigo washes over you. Uh, and oh. Roxy, uh, if you're, I'm assuming you and Zella are, like, side by side. Oh, you're able yes. to catch her. In the nick of time, as she passes what? out, uh, before oh, you can react Zella. to that, you all see Abby as well kind of fall unconscious. And then there's a bright light that starts to just emanate from around you. And it changes from pinks to blues. And it seems like in the background, like in the far distance, you can hear a little bit of like a beat going on. It sounds a little bit 270s. That's really not this year. <laughs> not cool. And as quickly as that all starts, it almost powers down like somebody has just like hit a transformer and everyone in the neighborhood sort of just except it's not just lights it's not just electronics it's almost just the bright daytime outside and everything just goes to pitch black and then you hear a noise like a small generator as the tour bus revs back up, but when you look around through the windows, things are a little bit different. You appear to be in a great hall, marble floors, ornate statues all the way around, as well as these large stone pillars and gargoyles. I am changing the map. Wow. There we go. And in front of you, you see a large throne. Uh. There's the noise of me changing maps, don't worry about it. Uh, and you see a few figures gathered around. Uh, the first person that catches your attention is a very regal, put together woman. She's wearing uh, just like silk red corset with brocade designs and she is lounging on this large chair. Uh, behind her, you see a kind of a cloaked man, very much like a discount store Vigo Mortensen vibes uh, with a bow kind of like leaning up against the wall looking very confused. And in the front, you see uh, another very tall, slender man with slightly pointed ears, uh, 
holding this crystal orb in front of him, looking very, very surprised as this little crystal orb glows and kind of pulses before the energy again just kind of tapers off and the orb lowers back into his hands. Oh, oh no, 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 that's not, uh, that's not good. We're never going to talk us again, ever. <laughs> Um, hi, I'm, I'm, uh, Roxy Foxy, and these are my girls and my, and my band manager. Um, excuse me, where are we? Uh, and this, this man in purple turns around and he just goes, your highness, look, this is certainly your majesty. Uh, this, this, this cannot, this cannot be what the prophecy foretold. I read the prophecy. I performed the rites. This is very incorrect. And the woman just goes, enough, Tiff. We we don't need to hear anymore. Obviously, something's gone wrong, uh, but let's not be impolite to our guests. Uh, you all come come forward. Am I still passed said, out? Yeah, yeah. Are we still unconscious? Okay. Oh boy. Oh, I mean, has holding. anybody? I'm holding Stella <laughs> as I like. Hold, I'll hold her. Yeah, I'm holding her. Has um, has anybody woken woken you up yet? Oh. What? Stella? <laughs> I need you right now, girl. Wake up. <laughs> smack her face. Oh. I'm just gonna shake Abby and go, please, you are one of the only ones that makes sense. I need you to wake up. Please. What? Where? What? Wake, wake up. up. Fuck. Okay. And so, um, Abby oh. and Zella. You guys have passed out now, woken up in a very, very different everything. Um, I'm gonna need you guys, uh, chat, if you could just roll uh, exclamation point D4 for one D4 uh -oh. psychic damage in chat. Uh -oh. That is exclamation point D4 in chat. I'll shot. That's what we were kicking things off with right there. Oh no. Cool. Good, good, good. Um, oh, also, Adam. Adam. <laughs> How okay. dare. Well, oh there you go. So it's gonna be four points of psychic damage uh, right off the bat. Um, Thanks, bro. You all see this uh, this very regal woman kind of stand up and start to walk towards you all. She goes, was it Rox Roxanne? Uh, Roxy Foxy. And then she kind of like, she holds Stella and she like Foxy. curtsies kind of. Well, control, because she just heard her say highness and was like, okay. <laughs> Formalities wow. are, are, are really not needed at this point. It's it's quite all right. Uh, okay, this is interesting. So where uh, where do you all hail from? Are we at the Ren Fair? Oh my god, I've always wanted to go to the Ren Fair. This is totally cool. <laughs> the right? realm of the the realm of Ren Fair. I don't. The Renaissance, like like the Renaissance festivals, you know? Oh, like the we... yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Very, no? very interesting. And she kind of uh, turns to look back at not Vigo uh, and gives him a quizzical look and he just kind of shakes his head and shrugs a little bit. This <laughs> is like the best one I have ever been to. It's I, really good. I, uh, Thank you. Can, what? You said the prophecy, right? No, I was passed out for that. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> you... Who are you, and what what is this? Uh, I am a uh, I'm uh, King King Gwen. Uh, this over here is, uh, and she points to the cloaked uh, cloaked ranger man. She goes, "That's a uh, that's my right hand man, Edgar, and then the uh, the court mage, um, uh, Tiffany, uh, and, and motions to the blonde man." Wow. Mage. Huh. This, uh, Tiff, this is, this is certainly not what we had discussed, but I, I suppose, you know, uh, prophecies do tend to work in a, a mysterious ways. This, I'm this sorry, could be all recording. Have we, like, totally disappointed you? Because I would like to help. I would like to make you feel better about who we are. Um, but I don't understand oh, why yeah. we're here still. We were supposed to go help some people in the car, and all of a sudden we are here. But, I mean, we could totally oh my God. make you feel better. Are mm, we right? doing a show at the Ren Fair? Is oh this God. Henley? Mm. Henley? Is this no, a surprise? This is, this is not what I scheduled for you at all. Absolutely not. Um, and I'm, that would be I'm gonna kind of, amazing. I'm going to kind of step in front of my girls and go, hi. Um, I have no clue where we are. 
or uh, who you are besides the names I just got, but hi, I'm, I'm Henley, I guess. Um, I'm supposed to have them in New LA like an hour ago, so if there's any way that you could tell me how to get there from wherever it is that they somehow got us, we were helping somebody in a car, and I shouldn't have let you get off the bus. Uh, but yeah, New LA directions. I no, Cherry, I should listen to you more. <sighs> I'm very sorry, but I, I'm afraid that I've not heard of uh, this this new new LA uh, that you speak of. Uh, you're in a uh, you're in Arthurian right now. Um, Where is I'm, that? I'm, ooh, uh, we are. I mean, the central realm of continent. On the Do you have a map land? or something I could see? And and she's going to uh, uh, wave over Edgar, who produces a parchment <clears> map, <throat> and hands it over. He just goes, "It's, I mean, it's it's literally like there, there's five options of where you can be from." And he kind of like shrugs and like walks back. Uh, so is look. this like in California? Did we finally make it here? Because I'm so oh! excited. Well, we are too. we're very glad to have you here, and you know, if you all do want to help, uh, and I would love to, to help. think, yes. we uh, love to help. Oh my god, <laughs> we can sing too, <laughs> and sing perform. I yeah. mean, morale does seem to be pretty low with all of the uh, destruction and portals going on. And at that point, you see some guards, uh, just full full plate. Uh, guys kind of wow. scuffle over and uh, whisper not so quietly, uh, Your Majesty, uh, there appears to have been another portal opening. Uh, seems like uh, probably about 30 kilometers to the southwest. Portal. What? And at this point, um, the mage, he steps forward and goes, Well, yes, the portals. That's a uh, what we were trying to uh, help rectify, you see, it's been uh, several fortnights, honestly, since uh, these portals have been zippering open across the land, and absolute monsters have been crawling through and just rampaging. Uh, monsters? Like, like what kind of monsters? Like, oh, is it goodness. like werewolves? Is it vampires? Like, what kind of thing are we dealing with? Where are we here? Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start. There are lizards the size of castles. Okay. There have been uh, other lizards the sizes of smaller castles. Uh, we've seen flying abnormalities. We've seen insects with levels of swarm insects. sentience we haven't seen before. It appears that uh, even mundane things are, are becoming abnormal and bright uh, like a celestial power has been washed over them but without a wizard in sight it's very uh, very concerning oh, no I mean... it's like a monster generator like that's kind of amazing i mean it could be except you know they probably i assume that you you want them gone because they're like hurt hurting people right otherwise it wouldn't be Oh, yes, we should help them. If they're hurting people, we should totally help them. So Hurting yes. people, destroying villages, ruining oh. crops. This can oh. only lead to an economic downfall. Uh, so, God forbid uh, if we have to uh, go to Goania for carrots or potatoes. It's, yeah, you wouldn't want to have to ask your neighbors for potatoes. Um, so, quick question. Um, when you say that there's portals opening, and you like don't know how that's happening. Um, do you want us, do you need help like killing the monsters or like closing the portals? Or, or like or opening another, another one, one that we could go back, back through? Cause I assume that's how we got here. I mean, I I can generate portals of, according to the ancient magics, but apparently, uh, your, your highness, surely these can't be, this, is, this isn't the champion, this is not, our champion. There's no way. Is uh, there a and, food court? A uh, food court. A uh, court. Court of. There, there are produce uh, uh, trade boards, and uh, the, there's the farmers' coalition. Uh, you, that, they might help, but, but your Majesty, there, this can't. A McDonald's uh, or like 
that thing? Oh, Ew. chicken nuggets. Wait, you really you know uh, you know yeah. McDonald? Oh, Mc, old, old man, I mean, old man McDonald, Jim. Ronald, Jim, you know McDonald. Oh, it's Jim McDonald's kinda... brother. I'm gonna kind of tug Maybe. on like Zella's shirt, the back of her shirt, because I'm probably sitting oh. behind her, and be like, "I don't think you're gonna find a McDonald's here." Oh, well, that's fine. Like, I just I'm hungry. I, I will give you all the chicken nuggets you want as soon as we get to the concert venue. That's why we, we love you, Emily. Yeah. I know, I know, and that's why I love you all too. Chicken, chicken nuggets, and he pulls the the monarch aside. He goes, uh, "My lady, they appear to be uh, enticed by by poultry droppings." Chicken, <laughs> this, is, this is more odd than I could have imagined. No, 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 no! Wait, we don't eat poop. No, that's uh, like out of our no. diet. <laughs> no poop. Well, that's so well, funny. Um, you know, there are some like aspects that maybe you could get some nutrients from it if you absolutely no, have. I to. just like nudge that, like, no, we're not gonna eat poop, okay? Oh. I'm just saying. No. I kind of grab Sherry and I go, Sherry, I remember you reading something like this in your book once. Are we like stuck in your book? Because that'd be really cool. Like Outlander. I don't think so. Wait, no. <laughs> What's that? It's canon. Yet? It's canon. Outlander exists in this world. <laughs> the book might have been out. <laughs> um, what year is it? Oh, what year is it? Oh. Uh, well. well, let's see. It's the uh, the the ninth year of uh of the cycle of uh of Mars. Mars. What? That, that means Mars. nothing to <gasps> us. Please tell you me all that do not have the planetary cycles. No, we do, just not like like you just, just said. Uh, yeah. it's not how it works. It's not how time works where we where we live. Time time working differently. And uh, at this point the monarch who's kind of just been eyeing you all goes, you know, I uh I like their their gumption. I think that they might just have uh, the energy and uh there's something very special about this group. I don't think you've made a mistake, Tiffany. I think that these may be our champions. <gasps> wow. Oh, and, sweet. Uh, what a nice thing to say. Thank you. Tiffany turns and he goes, Milady, absolutely, surely not. I, these accents are blurred together, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> My voice and she is goes, no, enough is enough. Is enough. I, uh, Edgar, please go uh, fetch the relics. We'll see if they uh, take a take a choosing. Sure. <laughs> Doing you a choose. <laughs> Doing you a choose. Um, awesome. Uh, are we doing what? What are we doing here exactly? Uh, well, well, Edgar, that's know. just that. Let me go ahead and give you the uh, the long and the short of uh, what we're dealing with here. Uh, I asked Tiffany so kindly informed you of earlier, uh, there have been these odd portals opening throughout the entire realm of Arthurian. Uh, yeah, we yeah. at first thought it could be an attack from a neighboring realm, uh, but the more we look into it, <laughs> there's nothing, there are no leads. I, I'm Luckily, uh, Tiffany has been reading through a bunch of ancient texts and doing a lot of research, and he did find a prophecy that foretold of similar occurrences. Uh, it seems as though our only hope to uh, kind of destroy or close these portals permanently is through our champions trekking to the great tower to the west. It's, 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 it's okay, right. okay. So, like, what I'm hearing is that you called us here and we must have the skills to like save the day, right? Like that's what it oh, sounds no. like you're saying. I essentially, uh, save the day. Yeah. that's what we're hoping for if you all are up to the task. Yes, yeah. I'm always here to help anyone and everyone. And yeah, you guys like, are family now, so of course. Right, like that's our duty as humans. Mm -hmm. 
reality. And you all see right? Tiffany's face is just like pale as a sheet. He looks yeah. mortified. He's just I'm like, with him. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stare at him for a second and just be like, "What's the matter? You don't think we can? You don't think we can do it?" I'm. I, I, please take no offense. I'm not saying that I don't think you can do it. What I'm saying is that I don't. I mean, based on your attire, I don't. I don't. I just it's, my I, listen. We work really hard to like figure out this image, especially Henley. Okay, like that's a whole Thank job. You. All right. Yeah. So we don't take kindly to like um, those kind of negative comments about what we're wearing. Yeah, Look, my girls can kick ass. ass. That's not the problem. The problem is that I am supposed to have them at a concert. They could do it, all of this. I fully believe in these four. What I also see that believe in is that I will absolutely lose my job if they're not at this concert in the next hour. Oh, uh, yes, and it's understood. You see, that's, that seems to be a little bit of a, where we're hitting a snafu. Uh, I could open the portal, but there's not exactly any uh, rules written on sending you back. What? Well, is there like a part of the prophecy that says that if we do this, we can go back to where we came from? I mean, I would assume it would be a best bet. Uh, All right. Well, mm, looks like we're going to hunt some monsters. Yeah. yeah. Really? Oh, okay. You want to okay. get us to that show? All right. Like, but we have to promise to be humane with the monsters. And I want to, like, learn about them first, okay? Like, bring your cameras, all right? All right? Like, this is important. This is part of my PhD. Wow, <laughs> you didn't tell me you're doing PhD. That's, like, really Well, scary. I already did it. Yeah, oh, but I already did it. You're doing yeah, it Yeah, but, like, well, like, I can always continue to learn more, right? Right, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he explains to you that you all, uh, basically the idea is, uh, traveling to the Great Tower of Saloon, which is in the, I think I said, I said Southeast. It's to the northwest. West. I, yeah. yeah. Northwest? You said, you said West. Northwest. Northwest? Okay. Northwest. Yes. Um, so here, I'll, uh, we can go back to the map. Ba -da -ba -da -ba world map. There we go. So you all are currently in big city over here. <laughs> It's the biggest of the cities. It's main city. <laughs> it's good city. You need Ugh. to get to Spoopy Tower. Spoopy Tower up here. Spoopy Tower by mountains. Got it. That's where we go. Now, do you go north? Do you go west? You don't know. There are bridges. You can go anywhere you want. <clears throat> but we'll get to that later. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as you all are looking over the map, um, you, uh, you see... Tiffany the mage head back over to King Gwen and uh, he says I really do have to implore you and she cuts him off immediately and goes look we do not have the arch wizard Merlin at our disposal anymore this is our only hope our only chance for any sort of peace for Arthurian and as she says that Edgar comes back in uh, and he and a handful of guards uh, are carrying these large chests that are each ornately uh, decorated in a different way. He uh, <clears throat> kind of clears his throat a little bit. He goes, okay, so uh, wonderful. Uh, we will see if uh, the relics want to uh, want to take you. This is Edgar's voice. Edgar's voice sounds like this. There we go. First <laughs> sash. First sash. Was, uh, okay, so... Um, Let's take a look. What have we got here? We don't need you on the tour bus. We need you in the throne room. That's where you go. Goes so. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Uh, you over there, and he points to Abby first. And he uh, takes out this very delicate-looking stash. Um, that's just kind of like again green silk. It looks like it might be made out of that same like high-quality like silk brocade that the king's like corset is made out of. And he goes, uh, "This is a." Uh, this is the green sash of Gawain. Uh, said that uh, it will keep you from being beheaded. I <gasps> kind of like shrugs a little bit and he goes, he goes, 
old old stories old stories so um vanessa Ooh. the belt uh oh, or green sash of Gawain is a legendary belt uh requires attunement um it lets you re-roll a failed corruption save for you or another character three times within a long rest <laughs> that's awesome. awesome okay okay um cool so then uh he goes he looks around <laughs> and uh he sees uh he, he produces two uh, two smaller boxes from the same one and, and holds them out. And he goes, uh, here we do have a, a ring of dispel, uh, said to be a powerful relic that can, uh, uh, that can destroy a curse or magics that may have been put upon a certain item. And he's gonna hand that one over to Zella. Then he goes, and uh, oh, you, look, you look like you like, uh, like jewelry. Uh, and he looks at Cherry and he goes, this, this was the ring of, uh, Ellen Ed, who said to at, uh, one point have belonged to Merlin himself. Um, there, there you go. He kind of like just tosses it over. It's the mage again now instead of Edgar. It's fine. They're, they're tag team in it. <laughs> this like totally fits my outfit and like, it's meant to be, I think. Thank you so much. Of, of course, so it looks, looks very nice. I, Thank the rings, you. The rings are nice ones. And as he's handing you all these rings, you can tell that he looks like a little bit jealous. Mm. And Edgar kind of pushes him aside and he uh, oh, takes out this large, time. large uh, red leather book. And he uh, looks over and sees that Roxy's hands are, are empty. So he holds it out and he goes, I guess you can take this. It, uh, it's just an armory, armory book. I don't know what good it can really do you. And as a, do, do you accept the book? Oh, yes, of course. Book? You're giving me a gift, so thank you. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> so as you reach out and touch the book, uh, mm -hmm. you see the color slowly zap out of it as it begins to start swirling pinks and blues. And it almost glitches for a moment and begins to look like it's uh, a hologram, you know, and like, spy movies when they're like zoom zoom and it's like it looks like it's a thing but it's like i don't need to explain a hologram that's i could have just said hologram. i loved it it's but. So... <laughs> i was like i'm gonna magic. describe <laughs> um and you see edgar takes a step back he looks visibly surprised by this he goes ah oh, well i see i see it i it must it must like you i guess well, oh well like it's uh, thank you so much it's my colors and everything it's so beautiful i i'm glad you like it uh and then um he takes out um a couple more items and he goes this <sighs> well tiffany over there says that uh prophecy says you need everything from the chest so here you go and he's gonna hand zella this it's just a scabbard it, <laughs> again kind of has a nice little chromatic sheen to it but other than that it is an empty scabbard and uh to cherry he is going to go ahead and hand this staff he uh looks at the staff for a moment uh as he hands it off and he uh kind of smiles a little bit and he says you know um this this gem used to have a lot of color to it, it used to powerful mag magics but um I think those days are gone. Seems kind of used up, but I don't know. Could probably hit something with it. And uh, looks around for a moment, and then he uh, kind of flags over Henley, and he goes, um, "You might want to come this way." And he takes you back to like the far end of the hall to a smaller room that he had produced these chests from, and he goes. Um, it looks like, I don't know, I, I get the vibe that, uh, I don't know, you might need this, but, uh, you know, could be helpful. And as you go into the room, uh, you see statues lining the area, each holding uh, different swords of uh, various colors um, in the hilts. The statues are identical, but the hilts and the gems on those swords are the only things that seem to have any sort of color variation. And at the very back, you see this large white <clears throat> shield. Do you take it? Yeah, I mean, I'll, 
I'll attempt to take it. I don't know how easy it's going to come off the statue, but I'll try. Yeah, absolutely. So, okay, cool. You do that. Uh, and as you take, uh, as you take that shield, you see this, uh, this large red light, uh, kind of cross over it into, uh, and <laughs> like a perfect cross across, <clears throat> across the shield. <laughs> Um, that then again kind of fades away. And as you hold the shield in your hands and turn back to face Edgar, four large arms protrude out from the shield and Ooh. grab each of the four swords in the room. And as they lift them up, you see the arms kind of move to your back and then fade away. And Edgar looks over and he goes, well, that was weird. And he turns oh, around. Good. I'm uh, um, too. <laughs> Henley, what did those arms look like? Um, so the extra arms Henley gets from the shield all look like um, TV static, sort of. So it's like the snow you see on the TV when it goes out, but they make just four very large, like, arms that sort of blur when they move too fast. And it's like snow has to catch back up to reform them. Awesome. Love that. Cool. I'm so, excited. so they give you guys these swag items and I'd like you all to roll a perception for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. 21. Oh. 16. Seven, 17. 9. I got a 15. Okay. Uh, so, um, Zella, you are the only one who does not hear a large rumble that sounds like it's maybe like 50 feet away or so coming from outside of this great room. And everybody seems to look up. You've noticed that the guards have all kind of seemed to wander off. Chat, I need you to roll me 1d10, please. Chat, that is exclamation point d10. I'm not telling you what it's for. Um, <laughs> Oh, and we are you see, so uh, in California. We're about to have an earthquake. I've never felt one before. Here we go. <laughs> um, oh. And you see Edgar draw his sword as he goes, an earthquake would definitely be preferable. And we're, that, we're gonna go ahead oh and go to break. Oh, we're gonna do a she thinks she is. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. But what is oh, it wow. for, Ellie? <laughs> I'm not telling you. But I'm not telling you. We are back. All right. Awesome. Hey, guys. Welcome back. We just had a nice little break. Everybody's gotten rehydrated. And we're starting to get some of those stream loot cards screen loot cards played uh so go ahead and uh, take a look i'm gonna drop that link on in we do still have some community gifts available um so you can go ahead and play for free right now get in on the action um <clears throat> so with that uh card played you guys uh are going to have one uh greater healing potion Mm. Ooh, nice. So we got that. And Cherry's mm. uh, Bardic Inspiration die has increased until thank you, thank further you. notice. Ooh. So off to a good start. Couldn't have happened at a better time because you guys have just heard this loud rumble that doesn't seem too close. Uh, and you see here like a split second of screams and you see Tiffany the mage uh, just kind of snap his attention in one direction. Uh, as you see him kind of like go and reach for a door handle that is not there as he opens it, walks through and disappears into nothingness. And uh, Edgar has uh, brandished his long sword uh, and you see him ready for action. Uh, and he, he looks over at you all and goes, so uh, we already deployed uh, deployed our units um, down to the uh, that, that portal from earlier. Uh, you guys ready to see if you're actually up for this task? I am ready. Do we have a ah. choice? That was no. my question. No, we don't. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm Consider totally the ready. Extension of our team building exercise. <sighs> We're gonna do great, everyone. We're totally Come on, Jerry. You Jerry, look. Look at you. You're so great. It's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know oh, what, Della? Oh. Uh, Roxy, you're probably actually right. We can do this, right? Come on. Yes. Yeah. We can. We, we can. Let's this. all put it in together in the middle. Everyone put your hands yeah. in the middle. Let's do this. On the count of three, we got this. Here we go. Jerry, I see you. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Woo! Baby, we, we got, got this! this. Yo. Woo! <laughs> uh, Jerry, move your mouth, hon. <laughs> One day we're gonna make you really happy. Yeah, so let's work on that, okay? Okay, I like this plan. It feels positive. Um, and uh, you hear uh, Edgar just kind of—he just goes, "Look, we we do not have time for this right now." Uh, and you hear another rumble, and then you hear a loud crash uh, as. Curling in through, let's just go ahead and go to this image. Uh, the side of the great room uh, by a window, you all see. Good boy. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> Are those so, sharks like circling his head? <laughs> <laughs> what you see is it looks to be like an eight foot tall young, young child where you see uh, that it has been painted to look as much like a modern human child as possible. However, there are areas that are just peeling off and leaving these areas of stone uh, exposed where you see a little bit of, uh, of neon kind of flicker through and it is completely still after coming through this, this, uh, this window. And you look to see uh, in his hands, you see the, the limp body of the mage who just dimension doored out to the battlefield. Uh, <laughs> I, I have a and question. And around him circles these two floating sharks that are brightly colored and appear to be uh, almost flickering, like they're semi-transparent. What is your question? Would this fall into my uh, mo monster information? Oh gosh, I can't remember the name of it. I'm as bad as Ella. Is it a monster's uh, book monster. of monsters? Monsterologist is I. Am I? Um, could I, like, would this fall into that category or am I just completely like? Um, go ahead and roll me a. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll me a, uh, a knowledge. Uh, we'll call it a knowledge um, nature at advantage due to monsterology. Nature at advantage. Okay. Or history. Either or. What was nature, that? Nature. Let's see. Nature. You said nature. Okay, those they're the same. So for me. At advantage. Right. Oh. Yeah, I got a twenty. I nice. just had to censor <laughs> myself there. <laughs> Try not to drop our awesome. first F bomb. Yes, I got a twenty. <laughs> and then plus a four is a twenty-four. So yeah. Perfect. Okay. okay. So we'll say it this way. It, it, it reminds you a lot of, um, of monsters that you had heard of before, but this one seems a little bit different. Um, but as you look at it, uh, you start to kind of see it broken down into zeros and ones, you know, and it, everything kind of clicks into place for you because you know hack foo. You're able to see the code that makes up this abnormality, Ooh. and you're able to identify it as error 173. Uh, you don't wow. know where this necessarily originated from. Like I said, it seems to have elements from different uh, different folklore that you've read about. Um, but the main thing that you know is that this is in fact made of stone and code, but it is completely still. Like it's a statue that's just been brought in there. And what you know, is that if you blink, this thing can move 130 feet in an instant. Oh, oh God. God. So okay. it's a it's a screwed up everyone, angel. Everyone, everyone, okay, S stop blinking, okay? What? So I think I, Blink stop blinking. Dead. 
Okay. Yeah. Just look at it, okay? Just keep looking at it, okay? <gasps> so, okay, I'm gonna tell you, I know what this is. I can see it. I can see it at its core. It is error 173. It is just stone and code, but like it won't move. It's not gonna do anything unless you blink. But when you do, it's gonna get real close, real fast. And then I don't know at that point. I don't know if it's dangerous or what. I haven't studied it that far, but I'm just saying, this is what we're here. This is what we're here for, okay? Okay, don't blink. All right. Okay, I mean, I'm so we'll messed try. up. Maybe we can and just all that, blink I'm... at different times. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Uh, I'm gonna need you all to roll some initiative. down and slowly <laughs> puts on her brass knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, love okay, it. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh. Oh gosh, okay. Initiative. Oh, you said initiative. Where do you exist? Mm hmm. Oh shit. Okay. Oh man. It's gonna be fine. There it is. I found it. Oh, I got an 11. I rolled an 18. Dirty 20. Six. Okay. So, okay, Roxy is six. Yep. Carrie, did you say dirty 20? No, mine's an 18. 18. Still good. Somebody said dirty 20. Me. Okay, <gasps> perfect. Okay, and what? Yep, yeah, stop. Hold on. <laughs> Struggle bussin. Changes. Okay. Okay. Zella, what did you get? I got an 11. All right, all right, all right. Cool, cool. And, um, hey, chat, can you roll me exclamation point D20? I want to see what Edgar gets. Go, Edgar. Okay. It's your birthday. Go Edgar, go Edgar, go. Go Edgar, go Edgar, go. A nine. All right. All right, all right. I'm sure he has a bonus to initiative. Cool. There we go. But yeah, we're just going to do that for now. Cool. And with that, let's sort these. Descending order. Oh, thank you. So first up, Henley, <clears throat> what you going to do? Okay. Let's think about this. Sing it a lullaby. Uh, um, as the only one that doesn't sing. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. I'm not going to pull out either beast yet. I'm very tempted, but I won't. Uh, <laughs> I will go out because I need to be able to see it. To see what I need to do. Uh, at least I assume so. So I'll go, oh, it doesn't have the little counter of how far I'm walking. Oh no, I have to look at the actual know. boxes. If I can get it to move, I hate roll 20 sometimes. All right, this is fine. Mm -hmm. okay. this five, is fine. 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, I can get to there, cool. you think? From where I'm standing, okay. I can at least see one of those shark things, right? Absolutely, yeah. You can. They have busted through the walls. You can see. You can see all the things. Oh, beautiful! Oh, then I don't even have to move that far. I'll just move right here then. I'll just move out far enough to do this. Um, I'm just going to Eldritch Blast. Feels like a just who's the classic and comfortable. You know what I mean? The 24 hit. Oh uh, yeah, 24 is definitely going to hit. Cool. I love that. <laughs> I love that for me. I love that for me. <laughs> just, just a casual Eldritch Blast. Um, so I get eight plus four, 12. 12? Yeah, because I have agonizing, so I get to add plus four. And I rolled an eight. Beautiful, we love to see it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So that is going to be 12 dammy. Yep. Okay, hot off the presses. 
Hi, Scar. You're a loud cat. Sorry. Awesome. Okay, is that your full turn? Uh, uh yeah, I don't have a reason to use my bonus action. Okay, cool. Sounds like a plan. Cool. Next up is Cherry. Headphones. What? Yeah. I can't hear you through my headphones. Oh. 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 Where'd you now? go? You're back, though. Okay. You're back. Okay. Um, so she put on her brass knuckles, but then she really sees the neon sharks in the sky. <laughs> So she keeps eye contact with this really creepy large child. <laughs> and she just kind of extends her bare hand and shoots a sacred flame at one of the sharks. Awesome. Okay, okay. Yeah, go ahead and um, roll the hit. Or is that a deck save for me? That is a deck save. Alrighty. All right, all right. Uh, does a nine save? Uh, no, it does not. Uh, and that Alrighty. shark takes eight radiant damage. Awesome. Okay. Eight radiant. Perfect. And, okay, is that going to be the one with the orange dot or the one with the pink dot? Let's do the orange dot. Cool. Awesome. One and done. All right. It is that your full turn? Um, yes. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, and Cherry, your inspiration die has increased again. Oh. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Awesome. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so, uh, Cherry, next up is going to be the hollow shark that you just flamed in the face. And he is angry. He is very angry. Uh, and uh -oh. he looks around for the closest target. And that looks like it is going to be Henley. So, you see him move over this way. And, cool beans. That is going to be. So this floating neon shark is going to try to chomp you. That is going to be a 14 to hit. Nope. All right. So he misses. Um, oh, he does have pack tactics. So he does roll with advantage, though. <sighs> Great. And that's a nat one. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not that worried about it anymore. So dear hollow shark sucks to suck. Abby, you are up next. He, okay. Um, so she's gonna look around and just say, come on, leave our, leave my girls alone. And uh, I'm gonna cast Bane. Nice. So they all nice. need to make saving throws of a persuasion. <laughs> or look up the spell okay. in my handy dandy spell book. Uh, yeah, so that's... Charisma. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I imagine cool, cool, floating cool. sharks got... don't have great charisma. <laughs> we got... They might, you don't know. They have great decks. Okay. Charismatic as a <laughs> Math. Okay, so the orange one gets a three. The pink one gets a 15. And the error gets a zero. <laughs> Okay. Error zero. Zero. Wait, I'm... no, I'm lying. The error gets a negative two. <laughs> Very charismatic. Okay. Um, so the the one shark one. is going to save. <laughs> but okay. uh, the other two do not. And all that means is that, you know, it's a D4 subtracted from uh, attack roll or saving throw. Any attack roll or saving throw they have to make. Buttes, buttes, will um, do. Which also means that I am concentrating. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. As she kind of throws her Alrighty. hands up. Alrighty. Um, and then bonus action. Uh, she's going to turn to Zella, who is uh, up next to the initiative, and be like, you're right, girl, we got this, right? And I'm going to give her some inspiration. Oh. Nice. nice. What, uh, Thank what 
inspiration are you at right now? Is it D4? Um, I think or it's D6. 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 Yeah, it's a D6. Inspiration mm. dice I have. <laughs> nice. Perfect, perfect. Awesome. Okay, Zella, you are up to bat. Okay, so these things are like actively trying to attack us, it seems. As far as I can mm -hmm. tell. Yeah. <laughs> But the, so error... the statue is not moving. Okay, the statue is not moving. It does have, yeah, it does have what, for all intents and purposes, is like a corpse in its arms right now. Um, the sharks, though, uh, one of them has already tried to bite Henley, and the other one is probably going to. It, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Well, I guess this one here is the closest to me. Mm -hmm. So I want to just use my okay, okay. Let's see, let's dial the the booster beat down with my awesome. guitar. Yeah, I just want to do that at it. <laughs> Perfect. Tell us, tell us what booster beat down is. Okay, so booster beat down. It's uh, basically the instrument beat. Here we go. tap into the beat to boost your magical focus instrument to attack with righteous riffs and beats. The instrument attacks with a concentrated spear of sound, dealing 1d6 plus your dexterity modifier piercing damage. You are considered proficient with this attack and can spend one height point per attack to make the attack considered magical. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. I'm reading too much. But yeah, um, that's it. So how do I activate it? You just play your guitar. I just play it and then do damage? Basically? Yep, it's going to be like a ranged spell attack. So that is oh, going to okay. be... Da, 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 da. I think that's plus six for you. A plus Yeah, so it's six. plus six to hit. Oh my God. Okay, so she <laughs> she pulls out, she just like has her guitar on her back and she pulls it out and I'm using this little tiny guitar to stand in. Um, and she's like, nobody <laughs> attacks my friends. <laughs> and she, I rolled a 20 plus Ooh. six. So that is a 26. <laughs> And that is a so that light <laughs> yep. that awesome. Okay. Awesome. okay. And that so is how lasers ahead. and liches works. <laughs> this is this is insane. Okay. Okay. Um and so tell me how much damage that does. So dealing a 1d6 plus my dexterity. My dexterity plus two. One one two d6 is that. No, oh my gosh. Brain work. Um one d6. Okay, five, that's seven uh, piercing damage total. Awesome. Okay, and that's gonna be plus max damage due to critting. So that's gonna be seven plus six for 13 points of damage. This thing just fades yeah! and gives this giant sound spear. Uh, and you see it kind of like flicker out and kind of like glitch a little bit. It moves to one side and then another. And you hear it like open its mouth, like it's about to make what Ever fucking noise a shark makes, <laughs> and instead uh, you hear bird noises come out of it, like it seems to be losing its link to the world. Um, with that, do you have any bonus actions you'd like to use? Oh, bonus actions. Um, in let's see, in this instance. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. That's wrong. Oh no. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Uh oh. oh no! Oh god! Uh -oh. Okay. I just remembered. I just remembered your overpowered hack foo move from earlier. It's fine. This is fine. It's fine. Oh oh gosh! Okay. This game is OP. I'm just gonna say. It's... Now I want to find it. Oh yeah! Let's do it. Okay. So so you all. Uh, yeah. This is totally totally. She would totally do this if this thing so was still okay. attacking everyone. It is. So you all see her, like she kind of goes through the whole thing and then like looking at her, it's like the image of her starts to kind of go backwards and move strangely. And there's kind of like, it doesn't look right. She goes all the way back and then does the whole attack again because she Whoa! has Hakbu after image and she is an apogee so she can manipulate oh. the Matrix, like Neo. I get to play Neo yeah. anyway. Nice. <laughs> I get to play Neo. 
And uh, yeah, the cool thing about After Image is the fact that you don't re-roll anything. You do literally the same amount of damage. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah! So, <laughs> it does. Um, the first shark does not exist anymore. Goodbye. It is some sad code. I'm chilling sorry, out. shark. You are a really cool monster. monster. I thought we were supposed to be nice to the monsters. Just kidding. Yeah, I, like, I, I don't, I don't we care. Are, but it's like the balance of life, and they're attacking my family. <laughs> and um, Just like I'm a person with too. that victory, it is going to be the error's turn. So I need okay, everybody to make error. me a con. Con save? Is it? Did we blink? Um, yeah, All of us make con saves? Yeah, constitution saving throw. Everybody. Is it you right. trying not to blink? Oh, God. I got an 18. I always sucked at those. Okay. 17. Um, oh. 17 as well. I <laughs> got a... Where's my con? Plus three, a 12. Okay. Oh, no. What was that last one? Four. I got four. Oh. Okay. 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 All my my dice are doing me dirty, y'all. We need to get you new oh, dice. Oh. New dice before next week. Gonna cleanse these mugs. Okay. Yeah, so did you? But you right. didn't right all blink, so this thing remains completely still. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> oh, success. <laughs> Cool, 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 cool. Okay, All right, okay. well, that's okay, what okay. that is. Next up is this other shark. All right, so the shark sniffs around the uh, the limp mage who is just down for the count. Uh, and you see him look away uh, and he's gonna see, I mean, honestly, the only person I think he can really get to is, oh no, they move fast, yep. So he's gonna see um, his his pack member um, hit the ground, and he is going to uh, go beeline to Zella in uh, an attempt to avenge his fallen hologram brother. Uh, however, that is a nine to hit, and uh, pack tactics ain't active anymore because the other shark's dead. So that's his turn. Up next is Edgar. Uh, no chat, shark. I would like you all to go ahead and roll me a d20 to hit. We're going to see what happens to good old Edgar. So that is, again, exclamation point one d. Uh, there you go, a three. So you guys see Edgar rush towards the error. <laughs> and as he gets close, uh, you see him uh, kind of stumble uh, and trip over uh, one of the cobblestone tiles that appears to have a crack in it. Um, so <laughs> that does not hit. Um, but luckily, uh, he's got that multi-attack. So let's go ahead and see. Can we get another d20, please, chat? And then I'm going to need a third d20. Third d20, please. <coughs> Excuse me. So two more d20 rolls. Oh, 19. Thank you, 19. Uh, regains his footing. Um, we're gonna need another D20 chat if you guys can. 18. Ooh, yeah. 18. 18. What the heck? Okay, yes. we're fine. everything's just <clears throat> fine. Cool. Um, so that is gonna be. <laughs> I'm Edgar. I get three attacks. That seems like a good idea. Cool. <laughs> so we've got a four plus six. We have 11. Okay. We have 12 plus 4, 15 points of damage uh, for the error. <clears throat> okay, cool. Good job, Edgar. Um, and as he kind of like swings at with his second attack, you see this crack where the paint just shears right off. And then it looks like it almost chips through the stone as this dark brown sludge begins to kind of spill out and slowly... Uh, slowly slide down the uh, the leg um let's see it smells Sorry. real real bad it smells <laughs> real bad uh let me take a look here so edgar's gonna need to make a little 
Little con save. He succeeds. He is a okay. Roxy, it is the top of the. Oh no, no, you haven't gone yet, Roxy. Mm -mm. I thought you kicked things off. Mm -mm. Roxy, take it away. Um. Okay. Did you say the shark got close to Henley? Cause I. Uh, up to her. Oh, it's over there. Um. So it is. Yeah. Uh, just the other side. <clears throat> okay. Great. So I'm going to. I'm going to first. Grab the book. And all right, all right, all right. Well, throw the book at it. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of want to like go. What's? Why do they give this to us? But if it helps me save my friends, here we go. And she's just gonna see if she can just like pretend to do magic and see what happens and open it up. And then, awesome. obviously, it would. Uh, I I imagine it like these like the the three different weapons are spinning around her like the birds yeah. kind of thing. And then she's just gonna go this one. And she's gonna grab it. And it's gonna be the um she's gonna take the trident. Hell yes. Okay, awesome. Um so as you grab it, it starts to materialize and it, you know, just uh you, you start to feel it and it feels real natural. Like it feels like you've had this thing all your life. Great. Go ahead and, and then roll a hit. It's just like trident, this will work for you, sharks. Here we go. Save my friends. 17 plus. Uh, sorry guys, 17 plus four. 18, That's 20, a big yes yeah, to hit. Baby. Yay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, try wow. It. And it does radiant damage. Is that extra damage or is it just- sure so, Um, no, not for this one. Well, there it's minimum damage, damage, so it's five points. She's just getting yep. used to it. Uh, yep. First new new weapon who dis. I think I already made that joke this session, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. uh, I'm uh, trying, friends. <laughs> you're doing you're great. Is that your full turn or do you have a bonus? Uh, yeah, turn because I moved to? up. No, I moved up and then I, I hit it. So she'll just do a fancy flourish and like okay. bring it down. Awesome. Dig it. Cool. Um so yeah, this shark is very sad, but still floating because that is the first time the pink shark has been hit. So now it is top of the round. And Henley, before you go, <clears throat> you don't even need this. Uh, what happens next is, uh, chat, when I had you roll that D10, that was to see how many rounds before soldiers came back to help with this encounter. Oh. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me, only one, uh, only one round. And so we're just going to clone Edgar. So there we go. Good job, Edgar. <laughs> All the Edgar. So where'd you go, buddy? Oh, there he is. All of the Edgar of the Edgar. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, cool. So they make their way to the gates. They will take their turn at the end of the round. Okay. Um, cool. Henley, what you going to do? Want to do something fun, but it be stupid, and so I won't do it. Do it. Do something. Just do, do it. something stupid. Do it. Okay, but if it's too <laughs> stupid and I die, you all told me to do this. You won't die. Your you're fine. You can so what? You're Bonus fine. action array of arms. Awesome. So these four arms extend from you. What? What are you equipping? Wow. All four short swords. Yes. Okay, go for it. I get four attacks. All of the swords. I'm I getting General Grievous vibes right I, now. Yeah. I was about to go General Kenobi. Um, <laughs> all right. So, 15, 21, 21, and 13. How many of those hit? It, and this is for the error? Yes. Uh, the two 21s both hit. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I will just take the two and I will be happy with it. But I'm coming back again and I'm doing it again later. Uh, <laughs> seven and eight. Dang. Okay. So awesome. 15. Perfect. So you do that. And again, you chip away at this and you start to see some of this sludge uh, kind of peel out from it. Uh, and this thing is still absolutely still. It's like you're you're um, just Unsettled. like wailing on a complete statue. But as you chip through and you look to see where that 
that blood ooze is coming from, it almost looks like there's like a pulse under it. So you can tell that this thing is alive. Is that your full turn? Um, yes, because I, I awesome. did move and use my bonus action. So unless I need to use a reaction during this round, I'm good. Cool. And oh, I now that you are within range of it, I do need you to make a con save. Okay. This is the time I blink, I swear to God. Okay, no, I'm fine. I got a 23. Oh, uh, yeah, you are fine. You are a okay. A okay. Beauts. Okay, cool. Cherry, you are up next. Okay, so I get to use one of my new fancy spells because the orange shark died within 15 feet of me. Mm. I get to use Death Throw, which is if a creature dies within 15 feet of you, you can pull from the negative energy and send a blast of power straight at a target within range. Uh, so I get to make a ranged spell attack. I'm going to use it as a second level spell. So if I hit it, it's going to take 3d10 necrotic damage. Oh. And I'm going to fling it at the air. That's all right, all right. <laughs> uh, what is my spell modifier? That is going to be a 23. A 23 hits. Let's, let's see them d10s. Yes, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Uh, that's 18 damage. Wow. And then as a damage. bonus action, I'm going to turn to Roxy and in her own way, Cherry's trying to be very supportive and say, hey, next time maybe hit it. I'm she means trying. that in a very supportive way. She's just trying to make a helpful suggestion. Um, and you get to add a D10 of inspiration to your next Thanks. Oh my gosh. Welcome. <laughs> awesome. So, wow. As you do that, uh, you see this thing again, kind of like where its face was, almost appears like a foot away before it snaps back onto it. Um, and it is, it's not looking too great. Uh, also, you guys have two trust your gut cards that can be used at any time. Uh, and those are um, plus two to a knowledge roll. One is for Zella and one is for Roxy. Oh, and that is yeah. thanks to Ready Blair One. Oh, oh thanks, thanks Blair. Blair. Um, <clears throat> interesting. All right, all right, all right. Cool. All right, is that going to be your full turn? Yes. Utes. Okay, next up is. Dead hollow shark. Oh. Never mind. Abby, you're next. Me? Okay, so <clears throat> as she's sort of just like holding her hands up, trying to like maintain the negative energy of her bane spell, she's <laughs> she's going to uh, look at this thing that's fucking disintegrating and like like throwing sludge everywhere, and just be like, "Oh, this is so nasty! Get out of here!" Um, and uh, she's going to scream as loud as she can. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Give me like two seconds. <laughs> you got it, you got it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you have the name of this spell handy? She's going to cast Hillwhelm's Scream. <laughs> <laughs> at the uh, error. <laughs> Oh, where did oh. I say that? This, is this one I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's okay. Hold on, I'm just going to search it. I'm going to search it. Um, it is a wisdom save. Uh, minus a d4. Minus a d4. Yep. Wisdom save minus d4. So his wisdom is already... It's a one. His wisdom's a freaking one. So that's going to be negative nine to start with plus 13. So that's a four. That's, that's a four. Because there was a negative nine modifier. Oh my God. Ooh. Brutal. 
Is he okay? <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. It's fine. Roll the DM. Uh, that is 10 psychic damage. Mm, nice. Mm, 10 psychic damage. All right. As she lets uh, what out does a it look like? Screech. When you kill this thing with Hold on, let's see scream. if I can turn up the sound on my computer loud enough for everybody to hear it. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Ah! Yes! Yes! There you go. <laughs> for the first time, you all see this go. thing actually move. <laughs> it is terrifying to not only hear that through my headphones, but on the other side of this wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just made this entire night worth it. Like, all of the stress wow. before we started streaming. So she's got her hands up as she's uh, holding Bane, and she just looks at this thing and is and lets out this, like, screech that only lasts for, like, a half a second, but is very loud, and I imagine that it sort of, like, vibrates the whole thing for a second, and then it just kind of like the pieces of the face start falling and it like glitches a little bit and you see the code and then it falls off and then it like glitches and you see the code and it falls off mm. and then it just kind of crumbles to the to the ground nice. and as it crumbles into smaller pieces of stone um you have a moment of joy until you realize the arm that is extending from the bottom of the rubble as it has collapsed on top of tiffany the mage Oh, is that your no. full turn? No, well, fuck. <laughs> um, no, actually. I guess if I see that there's a person who's down, because, you know, that's the kind of person she is, I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, up next to Henley to try to okay. get at this, this person. <laughs> Okay. But like skirting around the other shark so that I don't get within its melee range, you know? That's kind of. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Okay. Shark. It's fine. You know. I'll allow it. <laughs> Roll a stealth check to sneak around the shark. Um, just kidding. Uh, cool. All right. Do you have anything to stabilize him or are you just getting close to him? Um, I think I'm, I don't have anything to stabilize him without using a, an action. Okay. So I'm just going to be prepared. Awesome. Zella, Blinding. you are up to bat and right in range of shark. Yeah. Okay. So can I, 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 I kind of want to, can I use my bonus action to make a, a, a note, a knowledge um, check on this? Is that a bonus action? Oh thing? yeah. You Is can just make a reaction. Oh, I can. Yeah. You can do it. Okay. Like I just want to, I want to see. I want to try to learn about this creature in front of me or see if there's anything else I can learn. Or or, or I also want to kind of be like, hey, I don't want to hurt you. I just want to learn about you before I attack. <laughs> okay. I just want but to you're see you're going to die. <laughs> you'll die if you keep attacking my family. So, yeah. Let's be friends. <laughs> Okay, um, so for that, actually, to convince him to stop attacking you, I would yeah. like for you to instead make an animal handling roll. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like that. Okay, where are you animal handling? Oh, uh, I got an 11. An 11. Okay, so I'll say, uh, as you're trying to convince this shark, like, what does it look like? What are you doing to show it, like... Um, I'm assuming like hands out to sniff sort of deal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I would understand, yeah, the nature of a creature like this that that in, in our world at least functions through scent. So kind of giving mm -hmm. the shark a chance, yeah, to see really what I'm looking for is, is to see if it's actively trying to continue to attack after I have responded to it this way. Okay, okay, okay. So um, as you do that, um, first of all, something right quick. Um, okay, cool. So um, as you do that, it does kind of stop for a moment. It looks like it could have taken an attack against you, but it doesn't. 
Um, oh. And you can kind of, uh, you see its code almost rewrite in an area and then it starts to kind of pause and you see it flash, you know, in your, in your mind's eye uh, before it goes back. And uh, Henley, I'm gonna say, um, you start to feel this kind of sick feeling in your stomach as she's doing this. Uh, and you know that this creature is corrupted. Oh, shoot. Okay. So Ooh. with cool. that, it does, you see its eyes again, kind of like go away from a real shark to these pixelated eyes once again. Uh, and I would like for you to go ahead and make me a constitution, uh, not a constitution, a corruption saving throw. Mm, so that is going to be a straight D20 roll. It's DC 10. 10 and under is a fail. 11 and up is a success. Oof. Do we have a way to re-roll if something goes horribly wrong? Please don't. Fail. Okay, Let's sweet. Have Abby hey. has the sash. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I got a 19. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and for those of you who uh, are not familiar with the corruption mechanic in Lasers and Liches, um, what happens is uh, the players would have to make three failed corruption saves before taking a layer of corruption themselves. Uh, seven layers of corruption equals death. Ooh. So that's where we're at. But a 19 definitely succeeds. Um, cool. So that would be your bonus action. Um, <clears throat> what else would you like to do? Well, if, if, if I'm interpreting that it doesn't like necessarily want to attack, I'm, I'm going to be like, wait, wait, everyone. I don't know if it actually wants to fight. Maybe it has something to share with us. <laughs> she says, not laughing. Megan is laughing. <laughs> <laughs> she is very serious. <laughs> she is serious every time. Me, however. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, all right, all right. Um, and that's your turn. Yeah, and I mean, unless it look, yeah, I'm, that's my turn. Seems like it's not gonna attack, so <laughs> I like okay. to preserve the monster. Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh my god, hold on, everything's okay. Just trying to mark this thing is dead. Stupid error. Live it up to your name. Oh, but I do think if yeah. I noticed some of that stuff, I would kind of mention it, like in what I said. Yeah. You know, of like I feel like something's wrong with it. I know Henley noticed some stuff that I did. But... Absolutely. Okay. And since you're trying to negotiate with it, let's see. I mean, I don't think this thing's gonna do a will save too high, but let's see if it's gonna attack or not. So unfortunately, that's a four. So with that, those pixel eyes kind of look back at you, and it is going to take another bite attack. That is a two plus four. You lied so to me. Hit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you weren't going to eat me. You it was only an 11 on animal handling. You were so close to convincing it. <laughs> but the cone was stronger. Oh, the cone. <laughs> All right. Next up, we've got Edgar. Uh, and Edgar just goes, are you seriously trying to reason with that thing? As he pulls his sword out and goes charging in. Dear chat, please roll me three D20s separately. Don't roll them together. D20, oh, D20, D20. Exclamation points between all of or in front of all of them. Please. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Seven sounds like every Taco Bell special ever. Seven <laughs> layers of corruption. Okay, so we're starting with a 12. Uh okay. And we need one more. I'm sorry guys, there's a cooldown on this on this bot. So we've got a 12 plus. Sir, what is your modifier? Okay. So we have a 16 and 11, and we are going to have to have one more there. So far, they have both hit. Ooh. And a uh, four, six. I can math. Cool. Okay. So let's see. That is going to be Jeezy Pete's dude. Okay. Two. So we've got a five plus seven. 
one, oh, that's a seven. Five plus seven is 12, plus four, 16. 16 points of damage. And this thing, again, starts to uh, to glitch out and fade in and out. And you hear that sound kind of like a computer powering down, or sorry, a VHS powering down? TV, a TV, TV. turning off. Sure. Um, <clears throat> and this thing appears to be like barely holding on. Um, that is Edgar's turn. Thank you, chat. Uh, mm. And next up, Roxy Foxy. What you gonna do? Sorry, Zella, but that thing is attacking you. So here I go. She's gonna swing oh, around the, the trident and then try to stab it. <laughs> awesome. Um, With your then... D10 of inspiration. <laughs> that's um, well, that's a nine. And then how do I use the D10 of inspiration? How does that work? You just roll, you just roll that in and addition. And oh, I added on to that? Mm -hmm. on up. Yep. So that was a nine. Nine plus nine is 18. Yep. That's way that better. Hit. Thank you. That hit. And then <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So I hit it for eight points and I'll look at um, Sherry and go, <gasps> It's working! Thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> I like want to like skewer in the in like the neck. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, job. what does it look like when you take this thing down? I skewer it and I hold it and I look at Zella and I go, "Oops!" And then I fling it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Thank As it you. hits the ground, you see it like go in through the ground, like it's just moving through solid material before it glitches out uh, and disappears. And with that, y'all are out of initiative. <laughs> we did uh, The King's Guard did no. not need to do anything. <laughs> um, uh, Abby is going to run up to the mage and uh, try to stabilize him. I will go with okay. you. Um, yeah, don't have an enemy to kill. I've got healing word. All right, that is a 19. Okay. So you go over and you evaluate him uh, to see what's going on there. And you go to pick him up and you feel around for a pulse. But as you go to lift up his hand, your hand passes right through it. And you see him just kind of flicker and disappear and fade away. I'm gonna turn to um, Edgar and look up and be like, uh, is he supposed to do that? And Edgar looks over to where his, uh, his co-worker was laying Ollie. and he <laughs> has a very somber look on his face and he goes, uh, no. No, he was not supposed to do that. Uh, and you see him walk to the back of the room uh, and he opens the uh, area that he brought Henley to earlier with the shield and he lets the king out and uh, she walks in and just goes, well, uh, I think that uh, while we did suffer a loss today, you all do seem uh, more than capable of the task. Well, uh, we would uh we would like to ask you to uh to be the champions of Arthurian if uh if you will so allow it uh, ladies um what do you go by Oh yeah like our names of course I'm Zella <laughs> Roxy Foxy I'm Okay Abby. everyone else <laughs> And I'm Henley. We're the, we're Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Lake. I mean, yeah. they're, they're Lake. They. I named them Lake, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, uh, if you choose to accept it, we would be honored to have you as our champion, ladies of Lake. And with that, we will wrap the sesh for today. Resume one week from today with more lasers and glitches get you on the road um and as a kind of a little coda uh in the tour bus 
uh, that is currently empty and still sitting in the middle of this giant great hall that now has a hole <laughs> busted through it large enough for a tour bus to uh, <laughs> move wow. through. Yes. Uh, good, good. There is a slow pan and you see, um, you know, steering wheel that has been covered in some sort of, I assume, like plush leopard oh, yeah. print rainbow oh, yes. cover. Yes. Uh, it pans back. You see a half-eaten chocolate bar sitting out. Uh, you see a uh, a framed picture sitting uh, next to where Cherry left her book um, of a of an older woman in overalls. It looks like it's faded, like it's seen better days. And it, as you pan back to the very back of the tour bus, to where the the in suite shower and portable toilet is, you just see the door shut. So what have you guys got going on? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> good times, good times, good times. Oh, okay. okay. Stranger on the bus. This yeah. is fine. It's yeah. fine. It's, it's all, all, it's all good. good. Okay. Uh, here, I can go first. Um, hi, I'm Vanessa, and uh, this is the channel that I do stuff on, and um, tomorrow we will be having our final episode of our 12 Occult Eye game um, at noon Eastern time. It has been a wild ride, and we are, uh, it's very bittersweet, but we're very excited to see how everything plays out. So uh, that's tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this channel, um, 12 Occult Eye by Witch and Craft Games, uh, our last episode. And then Sunday, the bells are back. Oh shit, it's gonna be bananas, you guys. It's probably the second to last episode of the entire campaign. They're gonna go fight Tiamat, Sombra's dad, somebody. Yes. Uh, our BBEG, uh, you know, is a guest star so we're gonna find out maybe who that is or maybe we'll have to wait until the week after but it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy guys i'm so excited for the end of this campaign um and then on tuesdays you can catch me here at 10 a.m ish uh as i do morning initiative where uh i talk to chat and they constantly distract me and we basically just bullshit over coffee and talk about ttrpg stuff so uh i think that's it yeah that's me Awesome. Hi. That sounds <laughs> Sorry. I didn't even need to. No, I was about to MC. Please take it away. That is wonderful. Take it away, boys. Hi, I am Kylie. You can find me everywhere on the internet by Viking Mermaid. Um, when you do not see me here on Fridays for the next five weeks, uh, you can find me over at Homebrews and Homebodies, which I co founded with Mal. Uh, right now we have our last, it's our last episode, right? Yes. <laughs> our last episode of World Builders on Monday at 9.30 Eastern. Uh, and then on Thursday, we will be starting our new campaign, which is our new one ring campaign called Shadows Reach, which I am super excited to start because I get to play an elf from Rivendell. So you know, you know, 11 year old dreams coming true. Yep. Um, but yeah. And then <laughs> I have my own channel, which I don't play a lot on, but every once in a while I hop on there and do something, but yep, that's me. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, let's go to... <laughs> We're still getting, we're getting the vibe. We're yeah. figuring out when we talk. We'll figure it out. First sesh. It's great. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's go to Diana next. All right. Hi, friends. I'm Diana Restrepo. You can find me at Diana Rest 3 on the socials. And on Monday nights, you can find me over on the Norse Foundry channel, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for our show War Paint, where we fight kaiju type monsters in Eric Frank houses world that he has built for us and yeah that's really exciting and that's all i got at the moment so thank you and i'll give it to megan awesome 
Yeah, 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 we've been going in order. Like it's working. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't great. realize this was the order. So sorry for the <laughs> awkward silence. I thought my computer yeah. just randomly puts us. Oh no, first. no, it wasn't you. I just think we just happened to, and sorry. it works out great. <laughs> No, it's all good. Um, hi, I am Megan, and um, right now you can find me here on Fridays, and you can find me this uh, Tuesday at uh, twitch.tv slash saving throw show for the last episode of a learn to play for Savage Worlds. So if you haven't played Savage Worlds, then what are you doing? You should definitely try it. It's great, and if you want to learn to play, you can kind of do that over there on uh, saving throw on Tuesday. Um, let's see what else is going on. Uh, those things, mostly. Uh, it's starting <laughs> July uh, 5th, which we are filming right now, so I keep thinking it's happening right now, but I'm doing Axion, which is also Savage Worlds. It is a setting that Cheyenne Wright has, is creating for it, which is uh, steampunk space opera. So um, it's oh, a lot awesome. of fun. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, so um, look for that coming very, very soon. Um, and then also I have my own um, production company called Gone Rogue Entertainment. Um, we just finished wrapping up the uh, airing of our second season of Harbingers, which is also Savage Worlds. Diana plays in that. Um, and that was Cyberpunk, that second season. Uh, this next season is going to be taking place, which I have announced in Deadlands Hell on Earth, which is uh, post-apocalyptic mm. Deadlands. So if you know Deadlands, it's supernatural Western. It's really cool. Um, so anyway, yeah, those are the things. Follow me at Megan Caves uh, on the social media. That's the best place to keep up with whatever the hell I'm currently doing <laughs> when I know. <laughs> <laughs> and so I guess that leaves me. Um, so hi, how are you? Um, well, you can't find me here on Friday nights. You can find me at Homebrews and Homebodies, which like Kylie said, we made together um season or series finale of world builders on monday premiere of shadows reach on thursday the following monday we actually premiere a brand new game as well which we're going to announce during the world builders finale uh we we made it very last minute uh because somebody uh that i am already a very big fan of and so is kylie basically came to us and was like hey want to play a game and i was like sure <laughs> not gonna say no <laughs> yeah i won't say no to that uh so we uh we needed to pad before muppets which is something we announced a long time ago and keeps getting pushed back um so we'll be there and also you can find me on band of badgers i currently play hemlock in their wild beyond the witchlight campaign i will be back for that in july um and i other than that i just write and I GM and I play some times and I'm currently writing my next campaign that I'm going to be GMing after uh, Shadows Reach is over. So that's me. Uh, and if I do anything else, it's on Twitter, Moxie Blue, M-O-X-X-I-E-B-L-U-E. -E. Uh, but yeah, that's my life right now. <laughs> Yay. Well, thank you guys. Oh, wait, Vanessa, did you go? You, you talked. Mm -hmm. Were you going to say something? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining. This was so much fun. Um, thank you this to was the awesome. amazing cast yeah. and thank chat. you. Um, again, I'm Ali Capone. You can find me on socials at Ali Capone. That's my cat in the background. He's loud. <laughs> Sorry. <Giddy>. Uh, <laughs> you Sweet can catch God. me here on Sunday on Hell's Bells, and then uh, later on Sunday after Bells ends, uh, I will be playing uh, Demi, the Tiefling Paladin, on Outsiders at Ambercut. And on Tuesdays, most Tuesdays, you can catch me on Eric Frankhouse Presents as Lillian Foxglove um, in Asantia Dark Tides Season Three. So if you uh, like Victorian steampunk horror, come check that out. Otherwise, I'll be chilling here uh, until further notice. So, yay. Yay. Thank you so much. We'll see you if next you guys, Friday. <laughs> and if you guys liked the game system, go to Drive Through RPG and check out Lasers and Liches. Not only do they have the core rule book available, uh, they also recently released the GM's Beats uh, beta version. So, go get you that and have a great night, guys. Hey, can I go? Hi. 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 Distant year of 1989, and the girl band Lake has been topping the charts. However, on their way to a sold-out show in New LA, a portal opens, transporting the band to a high fantasy realm. Now get to
guitarist Sella, guitarist Roxy Foxy, drummer Abby, bassist Cherry Delight, and their manager Henley are trapped in a land plagued by mysterious beasts. Their mission to just get home and maybe save the realm of Arthurian along the way. It's the distant year of 1989, and the girl band Lake has been topping the charts. However, on their way to a sold-out show in New L.A., a portal opens, transporting the band to a high fantasy realm. Now guitarist Zella, guitarist Roxy Foxy, drummer Abby, bassist Cherry Delight, and their manager Henley are trapped in a land plagued by mysterious beasts. Their mission? To just get home. And maybe save the realm of Arthurian along the way.